Bystander intervention first came to my attention when I was learning more about Title IX. Can you believe Title IX isn't just about sports and money? It includes education, awareness, awareness to consent, intervention, sexual assault, and sexual assault advocacy. It seems pretty obvious to me that we, when we witness cruelty or otherwise, that we have the responsibility to step up, to speak up, and to intervene. I respect that not everyone has the capability of stepping up, and in many cases, it's best to seek outside support, professional support, call and help. Keep in mind that the idea is to do no harm. Do no harm for yourself and to others. I am baffled by the fact that people will take the time to have a catty conversation behind someone's back, but will not pick up the phone and say, I'm here for you. How are you? How can I help? Or someone will pick up a phone to make a video, but not intervene or call for help. The following are five steps for intervention, and the website is listed below. Number one, notice the event. People are busy, distracted, on their phones, talking, texting, but not aware of their surroundings. Some don't want to notice. Pay attention. Pay attention to what is going on around you. Two, interpret. Interpret it as a problem. Sometimes it's hard to tell if someone is in need of help. Err on the side of caution and investigate. Don't be distracted by ambiguity, conformity, or peer pressure. Three, assume personal responsibility. If not you, then who? Do not assume that someone else will do something. Have the courage, have the courage and confidence to be the first. Number four, know how to help. Never put yourself in harm's way, but do something. Help can be direct or indirect. Number five, implement. Implement the help. Act. If not you, then who? This is just the beginning. And it's something to consider from one human being to the next that we have the responsibility to step up, to speak up. The idea of bystander intervention can apply to mental illness, for example. When someone's not well, stepping in to say, are you okay? Sexual assault, when someone's too drunk to stand, maybe you should step in and say, don't take her back to the back bedroom. Domestic violence, providing an out when someone is ready to leave. Substance use, stepping in and having that conversation when casual consumption has taken a turn for the worse. The list goes on. These are not easy conversations to have, and perhaps that's why so many remain silent. 